Hello friends, welcome back to Technique and today we'll be doing yet another speed test comparison of two powerful uh, devices uh, below the 40,000 price segment. We have the newly launched Poco X6 Pro. The pricing starts at uh, uh, around uh, 27999 uh, including card offers while uh, the OnePlus 11R is last year's uh, really good uh, flagship category uh, mid-range device which is priced 39999 So in this video, we'll be looking at uh, a quick speed test comparison then we'll check the anti benchmark uh, Geekbench and also the network test along with that we'll also test the memory management of these two devices now we have the Poco X6 Pro with uh, the Dimensity uh, 8300 Ultra a really powerful mid-range chip and we have the tried and tested Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1 chip so let's do the speed test comparison of these two devices there are obviously some hardware differences we'll talk about that uh, while doing the test and uh, before that if this is your first time on this channel do hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin the speed test comparison of the poco x6 pro with the oneplus 11r let's start the speed test comparison of the poco x6 pro and the oneplus 11r so let's uh, just uh, clear off all the background apps so we don't have any apps running right now in the background let's also go to the settings uh, first so now about phone and here also let's take about phone so poco x6 pro with uh, hyper os and android 14 out of the box now the 11r which we have right now is also running on android 14 you can see here android 14 version and this is snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 mobile platform now both of these have a uh, uh, pretty good uh, ram and storage this is ufs uh, 4.0 and lpddr 5x ram while the oneplus 11r is uh, lpddr5 ram and ufs 3.1 storage so that's one major difference in terms of uh, read write uh, speed and the storage aspect so both of these are running on android right now android 14 rather right now and uh, this is hyper os and uh, oxygen os uh, 14 so that's the software aspect now let's uh, also have a look at uh, uh, the network settings so you can see here both are in airplane mode and both are uh, right now connected to the same wi-fi network so clearing off all the background apps once again so you can see here none of the apps are running in the background so let's chart the speed test so first app would be asphalt 9 so let's see which opens asphalt 9 faster whether it's a poco x6 pro or the oneplus 11r now snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 we know is a really powerful device and uh, the dimensity 8300 uh, ultra is also very powerful for this segment flagship level categories uh, you can see here poco was uh, slightly faster here now let's go to bgmi Once again, Poco has taken the lead. Poco has opened it faster. So both the games are faster on the Poco X6 Pro. Now let's go to the apps, Play Store. Almost same time, I would say. Chrome browser. Let's uh, uh, skip this. Facebook. Again, uh, same time. Twitter. Again, uh, same time, I would say. Instagram. Here, Poco was slightly faster. Spotify. Uh, OnePlus was slightly faster. Amazon. So, we'll just skip that again. Flipkart. Here, probably Poco was slightly faster. File Manager. OnePlus is faster. Settings. Again, OnePlus is faster. YouTube. Again, uh, Poco is faster. Gmail. Poco is faster, camera, OnePlus is faster, G, uh, maps, uh, OnePlus is slightly faster. So you can see that both did have a really good performance uh, here in this uh, price segment and both uh, had uh, uh, actually in terms of uh, app opening time both did really well. So that is app opening time you can see that uh, games were uh, slightly faster uh, opened uh, on the Poco while uh, a lot of other apps also were slightly faster than uh, the oneplus 11 uh, but uh, the stock apps like the settings uh, my uh, files and a few other apps were faster on the oneplus now let's see the memory management so let's see how these uh, uh, devices retain uh, the apps in the memory so let's see if there are any apps uh, reloaded in fact settings uh, did uh, reload I, I can't say it's a complete reload uh, in fact file manager also opened up Flipkart, Amazon, Spotify, Instagram, 
Twitter so as of now all the apps are there in the memory so here you can see both of these apps have reloaded asphalt 9 both of the devices have reloaded asphalt 9 that's quite strange because both of these have plenty of ram available actually uh, we're not really sure why this has been reloaded but overall the memory management is quite similar nothing much to differentiate let's go to the network speed so this uh, will connect we have connected both the devices to the same wi-fi network so uh, you can actually uh, just uh, check here so both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So let's uh, let's test first uh, the Poco X6 Pro. So again, a similar uh, results: 165 and 173. So almost exactly the same uh, speed. Now next is the Antutu benchmark score. So let's see how these devices fare in the Antutu benchmark score. So 14 lakh 17159 here 12 lakh 91000. So you can definitely see that uh, uh, Poco did manage to beat the OnePlus 11R in terms of synthetic benchmark. But one thing you can notice is that uh, the CPU performance is better on the OnePlus 11R, but GPU is better on the Poco X6 Pro, making it really good uh, device for gaming as well and uh, even the memory uh, ux uh, uh, memory and the ux core is also better on uh, uh, the uh, the poco x6 pro when compared to the oneplus 11r so let's also see the storage test again uh, you could see that this is uh, we'll just uh, test this again ufs 4.0 versus ufs 3.1 definitely there will be a difference so let's see how much of difference that does make so you can see a 1,69,000. In fact, I got around 1,74 also previously. So 63,578. So that's uh, very different in terms of uh, uh, the read write speed. You can see here UFS 3. 3x. This is UFS 4.0. Now let's have a look at uh, the Geekbench uh, 6 result. So there you go. You can see here. Now 1414 is the single core score here the single core score is higher 1726 uh, while the multi core score 4574 here it's 4282 so again uh, very similar performance uh, in terms of uh, the single core score is definitely better but multi core is quite similar uh, in fact slightly better is obviously poco x6 pro so uh, both of these devices are really powerful in terms of hardware and uh, the experience both of them have android 14 right now so that is the speed test comparison of the poco x6 pro with uh, the oneplus 11r oneplus 11r is a different category below the 40,000 price segment while the poco x6 pro is below the 30,000 price segment so that makes a huge difference so uh, with uh, the performance that is being offered at poco uh, x6 pro you can get uh, almost as good as the performance of the oneplus 11r at a lesser pricing so that is the speed test comparison of these two devices hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day